I recently picked up a laptop and a desktop from Facebook Marketplace for really cheap. And today I'm going to take a look at the laptop and I'll save the desktop for another video. So uh, here's the laptop I got. It's an HP Pavilion DV7. Uh, this thing is massive. It's got a 17 inch screen, an AMD 4500M quad core processor, 6 gigs of RAM, and Radeon. HD 7640G graphics and I got this thing for only 20 bucks and today I'm going to see if it's still usable in 2024. So I'm sure this thing was a beast when it first came out. This is probably 15 or 16 years old. Let's take a look at the ports real quick. We got headphone jack, microphone jack, a couple USB ports on the side here, um, HDMI and VGA out. And on the other side, so we got more USB ports, two more. And it looks like we have a classic CD-ROM drive here. Let's see if it opens up, oh, and it does. It works. So this has a mechanical hard drive in it with Windows 7. Uh, I was able to get Windows 7 going here. Kind of forgot how great Windows 7 was back in the day. I did try to install Google Chrome, but it uh, gave me some issues, so I wasn't able to run it. It's got the old school uh, Windows Media Player. And who remembers Windows Media Center? Uh, I should really hook this up to my TV and try to use it for a week to see how it holds up. But back in the day, this thing was awesome. You could hook up your TV to an antenna and record uh, television, use your computer as a DVR. Uh, yeah, this thing was great, Windows Media Center. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap out the mechanical hard drive for an SSD, uh, install Windows 10 on it, and see if this thing is usable in 2024 if I use Windows 10. All right, so let's take a look at the bottom here, and I'm going to try to remove the battery. And that's pretty simple. And it looks like I only have one screw to remove the back panel, which should give me access to the hard drive. All right, so as you can see, I got the hard drive here, which I'm going to swap out in a moment. And I do have access to the RAM as well. And I don't know if I could put another hard drive in this empty spot. I'm not sure. Uh, here's a look at the RAM. And it looks like I have a 4 gig stick and a 2 gig stick, which is unusual. All right, so now I'm going to take out this mechanical hard drive and put in an SSD. So all I got to do is remove a couple of screws on each side here and uh, remove this mechanical hard drive. And now I almost got the uh, SSD in there. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and install Windows 10 on this. All right, Windows 10 is installed, so let's try some, uh, you know, web browsing on this and see uh, how smooth it is. And as you can see, it's not too bad. Uh, remember, I only spent 20 bucks on this thing. So web browsing is not too bad. Let's try to watch some YouTube videos and see how it does. All right, I'm going to show uh, stats for nerds here and see how many dropped frames we get. And uh, yeah, we're getting a lot of dropped frames here. Uh, this is in 1080p. Um, I mean, the screen or the display is only 1600 by 900. So uh, I wonder if I drop it down to 720, if it'll help. Should help a little, but uh, yeah, the drop frame rate is uh, not too good. And when I drop it down to 720p, uh, still getting drop frame rates here. Not as many as in 1080p, but it's still not good. I ran the Heaven benchmark and I got 9.5 FPS and a score of 240. This is on high settings. All right, let's see how this does with some gaming. We'll start off really light with Horizon Chase Turbo. 
And as you can see on the top left corner, getting over 100 FPS here. But this is a very easy game to run. Alright, here's another easy one to run. This is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, getting 60 FPS here. Okay, let's move on to Minecraft. Uh, it did take a long time to load up. Alright, once the game started, uh, pretty much for the FPS I was getting in the high 30s to low 40s. Uh, it didn't really change the settings, I just opened up the game and started to play. Um, you know, again, it's only $20 PC, so can't be too picky here. Now here's a real challenge for this laptop, uh, Fortnite, performance mode, setting the FPS limit at 60 FPS, even though I know it's not going to come close to that, uh, but let's see how this does. And yeah, right from the start, you know it's not going to be a good experience. And wow, when you're getting only 15 FPS, uh, it's very difficult to aim, very difficult to try to uh, eliminate someone. <laughs> All right, I got him, but uh, that was a challenge. I also tried some Xbox Game Pass uh, cloud gaming here. This is Forza Horizon 5. And for retro gaming, I didn't have a problem booting into Batocera. Uh, I might do a separate video on the emulation performance of this laptop, so I'll save that for another time. Okay, so overall for 20 bucks for our web browsing, emailing, some very light gaming, this isn't too bad. Uh, I am curious if installing Linux on this would be a better idea than Windows 10. I've never really messed around with Linux before, so I might try it on this, uh, just as a really a learning experience for me. Uh, if you use Linux, which Linux distro would you suggest for me? Uh, let me know in the comments below, I would appreciate that. Another thing I could try on this is making it into a server. I know some people will use a laptop as a server, so that could be another project for this laptop in the future. So that's it for this video. Please hit that like and subscribe button. I would appreciate it. Thanks for watching.